everyone, it's Lara. So today I'm going to share with you an update for my Pokemon project pan. This project was created by Heather Dean. So I'm actually going to change the way I do this project a little bit. So originally I was doing all of the prompts at once and rolling in new products for each prompt once I finish them. But since it's getting closer to the end of the project, I'm actually going to just work on the things I have in the project now, and when I finish them, I'm not going to roll anything else in. So I'm just going to go in order of the prompts. So the first one is Squirtle, and I was working on this Pacifica eye pencil in gunmetal. I am wearing it today. I've been wearing it a decent amount of times. I think I've sharpened it maybe two or three times since the last update. I've also been wearing it as like an eyeshadow base, so that's definitely helped a lot. So I'll show you what it looked like last time. And this is what it's looking like now. Still a bit to go, but I've definitely been using it. The next prompt is Bulbasaur, and that is something green or neutral. So I was originally working on a Mario Badescu setting spray. I finished that, and then I rolled in a green eyeshadow from this Urban Decay palette. My goal was to hit pan on it originally, but I'm actually going to change the goal and just have 25 uses, which I've already done. I've used it 25 times. This is what it's looking like. I mostly used it as an eyeliner. I did use it as an outer V a few times, which I did like it both those ways. And I did use it all over the eye once, which I didn't like that. It's just a little bit too dark of a green for all over my eyes. I just, I don't know. I just don't think like a very dark eye look looks good on me. I don't think it suits me, so I wasn't a huge fan of that, but I do really like wearing it as an eyeliner and an outer V shade. And I've got 25 uses, so this one is rolling out. Next we have Charmander, and that's something orange, red, or warm toned. And I was working on a lipstick from the brand Me 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 in the shade Playful Peach and I was able to finish it. So even though there looks like a little bit left, I cannot sharpen it anymore. So this is finished, which I'm so happy about. This is my second lip product that I finished this year. So that's exciting. Wasn't the hugest fan of this though. I really like the color, but the formula was very thick and dry. So I'm really glad that's done. Next we have Pikachu and that's something yellow. And I was working on this Too Faced powder. The last check-in I had repressed it and now I am finished. It is all done. I did like this powder. It's just those bananas that were in it kept like they were more firmly packed, I guess, so they didn't wear down as fast as the rest of the powder, and then they just kept, like, chipping off once I hit pan, so I had to re mix them up and repress it because that was kind of annoying, but other than that, I did like the powder. Not something I would probably buy again, though. Next, we have Team Rocket, and that is a trio, and I was working on this eyeshadow trio from La Bayette, and my goal was to use it 25 times and I have used it 25 times. There is some decent dips going on in there. Wasn't able to hit pan but that's okay. It looks used and loved and that's what I care about so yeah. This one is also rolling out. Next we have Ash, and that's something you are determined to finish. And for that, I chose a bronzer from this Too Faced palette. I will show you what it looked like last time. This is what it's looking now. I don't feel like it looks 
all that much different, but I have used it. I did use it a decent amount, so I feel like it's gotten up thinner, but maybe you can't really tell. I haven't reached for it recently, though, because it's fall now, and any little bit of tan I had is completely gone now, and it's just too dark. The Chocolate Soleil bronzer, for me, it's just too dark. Like, even in summer, still a little dark for me. I'm still gonna make an effort to try and finish it. I'm working from home, so, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Next, we have Brock, and that is something you love. And for me, I was working on this Paula's Choice face lotion. I love Paula's Choice. I have super sensitive, dry, eczema prone, contact dermatitis prone skin. So there was a really good bit of time where I was really desperate for a skincare line that would help with my skin. I was getting like rat, um, eczema flare ups around the perimeter of my face. It was so embarrassing and then I was watching Tara Babies and she mentioned Paula's Choice and she was also having similar problems to me so I decided to give it a try. One of the best decisions I've ever made. Love, 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 love Paula's Choice. I just really like that it works for my skin and you know the ingredients are good so yeah. Anyway, I was able to finish this, so that's another thing rolling out. Next prompt is Misty, and that is a gamey product. So I've actually rolled out a few things, so I was working on a foundation and then a brow pencil, and now I most recently rolled in a perfume sample. I did use it a few times. So this is from Atelier Cologne, and it's in the scent. I'm sorry, I cannot speak French, so I'm not sure how this is pronounced. Cidre in <laughs> It's this one. Can you see it? I'm not a big fan of the scent of this, it smells like, I don't know, shaving cream or aftershave. It's, I wouldn't say necessarily masculine, maybe more like a unisex scent. It's not bad. Like, it's not horrible. I think I can finish the sample, but this is definitely not something I would buy. Next prompt is Palette Town, and that is something comfortable. So I was originally working on the Nude Maker Gel from Majolica Majorca. I finished that, and then I rolled in this cushion foundation from La Bayotte, and I have also finished this. So this actually pops out, and you can reuse the compact. Oh, there we go. <laughs> which I think is really cool. I think more brands should do that. Have refillable things. Anyway, so yeah, it had gotten to the point where I was constantly flipping over the cushion and I even got to the point where I would just pick up the cushion and like put it directly on my face. So that is finished and another thing we're rolling out. I also did like this cushion foundation. The thing with cushion foundations though, you know, like once it gets to the point where you're flipping the cushion, it kind of gets annoying. So not my most favorite form of foundation, but I did enjoy it while it lasted. Next prompt is Gary, and that's something that was hyped. So I originally was working on the Makeup Revolution Concealer, finished that, and then I rolled in the this Milani Eyeshadow Primer. So this is what we're looking like. It's getting there, pretty close. Like I can even start to see through this area when I hold it up to the light. So most of the product is here. There's a little bit 
maybe stuck to the sides. We're getting there. We're getting there. Next prompt is Professor Oak, and that's something that's helpful. So I was originally working on Too Faced Shadow Insurance, finished that. Can make mascara, finish that, and then most recently rolled in this Maybelline Lashinista mascara. And this is getting pretty close. I think maybe one more month of this, and then this will be done. Yeah, I really like this mascara. Okay, last two prompts for Mew and Mewtwo. That's a legendary product and a dupe of a legendary product, and for that, I rolled in nail polishes and I was able to finish both of them. So this one, I was really surprised. I thought there was a lot left. I think my last mark was like up to here, but actually it was way lower than I originally thought. It was just really stuck to the side, so I couldn't really tell. So this only lasted me one more manicure and then it was finished. This one, was about halfway, I think, at the last check-in, and I really worked hard on this one. I did my toes twice, and I did my manicure four times, I believe. I'm wearing it right now, which it's already starting to get chipped, so I should really redo my nails. But yes, I was able to finish both of them. I am so excited. I really, really want to get through all the nail polish I brought here with me to Japan because I don't want to bring any nail polish back with me. I, I don't even think you're allowed to bring nail polish on an airplane. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I don't want to, even if you can. I want to get all my nail polish finished and I'm getting real close. So hopefully I can do that. So just to do a little recap, I still have five items left in the project. I still have this eye pencil from Pacifica. I still have the perfume sample, the mascara, the eye primer, and the bronzer from this palette. Okay, so that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye.